If I could have your attention, please find a seat. We are really grateful and excited to be here in St. George. Welcome to the fourth annual Utah High School Cycling League end of season banquet. Kevin Lewis, that's with the St. George Office of Tourism. Come on up, Kevin. Thank you. Wow, what a sight. Huh? 900 high school mountain bikers here in St. George. We love it. We love having you here. Congratulations on the state championship for all you've done. We're excited to be a part of this and uh, welcome you here to the banquet. And we want you to come back. We've got hundreds and hundreds of miles of trails here. If you haven't tried them all, you need to get out and try them. They're incredible. Thanks for coming and enjoy the St. George by here. Go ahead and move, move that way so 
All you need is a bike, and from there, it doesn't matter if you're short or tall, a girl or a boy. Please welcome up to the podium, racing for Lehigh High School, Abby Freddy. I feel really bad for these kids that is going to be a picture of me. Our second scholarship, also for $1,000. He said, I like the Nike team because it not only pushes you to become a good athlete, but also to become a good person and a good student. Mountain biking just isn't a sport you can do in high school. It's a sport you can do your entire life. Please welcome up to the podium, racing for Moab, River Burdock. This next girl went pre-riding a race course and wrecked. And she said, my shorts on the right side were no longer there. When my friend rolled up, she looked at me and screamed a little and said, I don't want to make this awkward, but I'm going to pull a stick out of your butt. <laughs> went back down to the pit zone where my mother cleaned my abrasions up and stuck a hole to the bone in my elbow with God. After all this happened, I still had to race. I really didn't want to, but I was determined to get this first race done with. It was long, hard, and painful, and I managed to get eighth place at my first high school competition. Racing for Alta High School, Julia Graff. He shared with us, I scraped what little money I had and was barely able to pay for a new bike, season registration, and each of the races. I knew I was going to enjoy this new sport of mountain biking immensely, but I did not think I was going to gain a new life passion. I am very appreciative of all those people who have put together this league and I'm especially grateful to my coaches for instilling a deep love of cycling in my heart. Racing for Bingham High School, Cameron Thomas. Another one for $2,000. And I must admit, this is one of my favorite quotes. Though it is hard to be uh, pulling a stick out of your butt, right? <laughs> Not once did I imagine that a bookish, 
uncoordinated girl like me would willingly and consistently jump on an affectionately named bike and race down rocky, muddy, sandy, and winding trails. Picture the type of girl with a cardboard cutout of Draco Malfoy in her room. <laughs> we all have one of those, right? And you have a fairly accurate physical description of me. Before I joined the mountain biking team, I hadn't done any sort of exercise in at least three years. Also racing for Bingham High School, Sarah Jensen. Another $2,000 scholarship. She said, the hard work and determination I learned from bike racing translates directly to school. I personally have never figured out what that translation is. When you survive hours on the saddle through sun, rain, snow, homework seems easy. I've realized over time my race results won't matter. But the relationships I build with others and the character I show while racing yeah. will be remembered. Yeah. Racing for Salt Lake Composite, Rachel Andrews. Okay, we have one more $2,000 scholarship. This winner said, throughout my dad's struggle with cancer, I was impressed with how he personified some of the core values of NICA. Sometimes during a race, when I just wanted to get off my bike and stop pushing through the dust and the heat, I think of my dad and how he kept on going. And so will I. Racing for Brighton High School, Axel Gale. She said, I will never forget my first mountain bike race. I was in Park City for the first ever high school league race to be held in Utah. I was a freshman girl on a $300 bike. At that moment, I had no idea that I would be making history later that day. I was just excited to be racing. In the late afternoon, we all gathered for a podium, and I was shocked and surprised when it was announced that the first ever high school mountain bike medal to be awarded in Utah would go to the fifth place freshman girl racing for Morgan High School, Hannah Clark.
This is his first year of Green Season. He attends every practice, encourages all the riders, and has taken very good care of his borrowed league bike. The only race he missed was to retake the ACT to get a better score. He desires to do something that hasn't been done in his family, and that is to get a college degree. Racing for Ogden High School, Jose Paredes. Soccer, football, track, field, archery, others. He just didn't enjoy them or excel at them. 
Three years ago, with lots of encouragement from his mom, he tried mountain biking. Fast forward two years, and you'd hardly recognize him as the same kid. Tyler loves riding mountain bikes and racing. He is confident and happy. He has lots of friends and is excelling socially and academically. And as he has grown, he has not forgotten what it was like to be that shy, alone, and unsure of himself person. He is always looking out for those people around him that are in that same boat. And it's not uncommon for him to wait for others on the trail and make sure that they're okay, or to ride back and meet uh, the last rider so that they aren't alone. He puts his training on the back burner to ensure that others are taken care of. And as a team leader, he confidently teaches skills to the younger riders and challenges teammates to do better. It's not uncommon for him to do silly things and make others laugh and feel comfortable. Um, during this season, he's been ranked ninth in the JV Boys D1B competition, and it's been stiff in the top 10. But he loves to under interact with the other racers and calm them down before the race starts and make them smile and lighten joke or do jokes to kind of lighten the, the racing atmosphere. Um, mountain biking has changed Tyler's life and has given him confidence, drive, and ambition. And he recognizes the effect of that and is eager to give back to others. Thank you, Tyler. Kids Pressure Award being given by Glenn Perry, the director of Bikes for Kids. And Bikes for Kids is also an inaugural sponsor. They've been with us from the beginning, and with their help over four years, we've, they have donated 75 league bikes that are being used by student athletes in need that are considered league players. Josh Pata, East High School. His coach wrote this about him. We have a young man on our team, Josh Pata, who has participated in our program for the last three years. He and his family are from the Philippines and have nothing. He has been a scholarship racer his entire mountain biking career, and this is his last year. I can't tell you what mountain biking has done for this young man. He rides with a smile and does all he can do to make it to practices by taking tracks or riding or whatever. He has provided opportunities for many of our student athletes to provide service. He has been, this has been the best part. We love Josh and want him to keep riding. He's been on a donated BMC bike for Bikes for Kids and is working to save money to buy his own. And he has been a great support to our small team by being there and pushing them forward. We have Arch's Health Plan Determination Award being awarded by Glenn Herzberg, the marketing manager. Glenn, if you're here, please come forward. Oh, he was sick earlier. Okay, then. Spencer. It's going to fall on Spencer. And the winner is Alessandra Waugh with Pleasant Grove. <laughs> All right. While she's up here, we're going to read about her. Alessandra began the season extremely shy, unsure of herself, and struggling with some significant personal challenges. This uncertainty compounded her anxiety and fears that she was inadequate for the task, leaving her worried that she was hurting the team. But through each emotional and mental challenge, Allie continued to come to every practice. She decided that she had made a commitment to the team, and she was determined to have the integrity to see it through no matter how hard. Bit by bit, her courage and determination started to lift her beyond the challenges that she was facing. Then it all came to a climax at the first race in Soldier Hollow. I remember this. At the start line, Allie was almost paralyzed with fear. But somehow she pushed through the fear and anxiety and start. She crashed on her first lap and came through the start finish in tears. Her dad and I, her coach, ran alongside her for a short period and asked if she wanted to quit. And she shook her head 
and determined to finish and started hammering into the climb. Unfortunately though, she followed too far, too far behind and the sweep pulled her from the course. Allie was devastated and thought that she had failed and let the team down. I thought that this would be the final straw for Allie and that she would quit for sure. But to my surprise, I lost my place. She was back at practice the next week, just as determined as ever. At the Corner Canyon race, oppressive heat. Oh, this is the year of heat, I'm telling you. This is our heat year. Um, made it hard for all the student athletes. And with a mix of smiles and tears, both hers and mine, I greeted her at the finish shoot that day. It was an amazing accomplishment for her. She had come so far from where she had started at the beginning of practice that season, and for Allie to actually finish a race was perhaps the biggest, biggest success of our entire team that day. Just prior to the Moab race, she broke her left index finger, and it made breaking difficult. <laughs> and it added to a great deal of pain and discomfort upon other challenges that she was determined to compete. And she placed 25th and actually scored team points that day. Her, determin her determination and courage is not only evident when she's writing, her commitment to be part of the team, and also apparent in her willingness to step outside her comfort zone and extend herself to her teammates. The Jerry Siner Leadership Award is being presented by Jerry Siner Jr., the Marketing Director. And this award is going to Kylie Schaefer on the Corner Canyon today. <laughs> Kylie is a senior on our team who has always been a mid-pack finisher and her first, but first place in team spirit. This year, she is serving as team captain and never misses a beat. She is always trying to drum up team spirit and come up with fun ways to share our team spirit with other teams in the league. She is a perfect example of a leader and one who will always do what's best for the team. It is obvious to all who know her that she loves this team and this league and her friends that she has made here. It would be an awesome pleasure to see her selfless attitude and love for the league recognized. By her being recognized, for simply being so awesome. She brings more cowbell to everything she does. <laughs> the last award is the team award. And Brad is supposed to be sitting up right here. <laughs> Brad Peterson is actually going to announce this award. He's going to be here while I do Emmy. Just hang on. <laughs> you want to do the team? Okay. Okay, back to Envy. Back to Envy. Sorry. Envy Composites Academic Excellence Award being presented by Ryan Thompson, Director of Quality. And the award is going to Ethan DeHulst on the Ogden team. <laughs> Ethan has been on the Ogden High team for three years, starting as a freshman. This year he has balanced racing in the JV class, as well as being in the International Baccalaureate program, which provides two years of college credit prior to graduation, and has very challenging pre-college classes. He has had to organize his homework, labs, and practices while still finding time to train. His, result, his race results have increased every race, and he maintains a 4.0 grade point average in a pre-college program. He is also a team leader and always encouraging the other teammates. And, okay, this was said by his coach, Heather Williams. To find time for everything, his coach says he eliminates showers. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that because I do the same thing. <laughs> Thank you.
And now presenting the Utah Team Award, Brad Peterson, Director of the Governor's Office of Recreation. It's actually called the Utah Office of Outdoor Recreation. And I'm extremely lucky to actually be here and be able to participate on behalf of the governor, on behalf of the legislature, the state of Utah, and now actually as an assistant coach, and also a dad. So I'm, uh, I'm fully invested in this. One of the things that I want to do first is actually just recognize Ms. Lori Harward and Spencer Schaefer.
Thanks, Brad. Okay, a lot of you guys know that we did uh, an activity that was right for reading. And uh, can I have the Fremont team stand up real quick? They got 421 books that were donated to kids. Let's give them a big hand. I'd like to recognize, uh, just really quick as a group, the board of directors as well. You know, with our growth, we have a lot of changes and we're trying to figure out a lot of things uh, on how we're growing the league. And it's never been done before. There's no manuals written. Nike doesn't have a league nor teams that are of the size that we have here in Utah. Uh, if you're a member of the board of directors, will you please stand? Let's give them a hand. Chance Awards. We've got Cindy helping me here. She's going to keep me organized. We're going to do things a little different this way. You'll notice the sign here in front. So as we read, we're going to have podiums going on on both sides. So depending on what group you're in, you know, I'll try to give you an idea when I announce them as well. But in case we've moved on, uh, look at the sign here in front. We're going to try to keep things movie. We have a lot of awards to go through. Yep, and for, so the parents that want to take pictures, or coaches, when they're over here, uh, go ahead and just come up and take your pictures. So when, when we're announcing them, just come on up. We'll also be putting them up on the screen, so as you see your name on that screen, just make your way up. You don't have to wait for me to read your name, just start making your way up to the podiums, okay? Can't see it? Okay, then you'll listen to me, then I'll announce it. And save the applause till the end of each one that we read. It'll just, we'll be able to process through this. So we are going to start uh, with the individual resort results here. Freshman Girls D1, you'll be on the left podium. Okay? In fifth place. From Corner King and Annika Grimes. The fourth place from Park City, Grace Nina Jakes. In third place from Corner Canyon, Kendall Nelson. In second place from Skyline, Megan Kitchens. And in first place from Lone Peak, Giselle Smimboski. In fifth place, from Westlake, Joseph Sasser. 
Third place, Methodical, James Larson. Third place, the Skyline, Jacob Draper. And second place, from the Memphis, Kate Brasher. And in first place, from Skyline, Connor Lacey. Freshman, boys D2A, on the left side. In fifth place, from Moab, Caden Kurtz. Fourth place, from East High, Henry Zakowski. In third place, from Woods Cross, Lance Keaton. In second place, from Salt Lake City Composite, Jacob Ebert. And in first place, from Brent High, Brennan Peterson. In fifth place, from Moab, Tyler Moreau. 
In fourth place from Fremont, Braden Jensen. In third place from Salt Lake City Composite, Charlie Oliver. In second place from Wasatch High, Christian Hale. And in first place from Salt Lake City Composite, Keenan Peters.
the left side, we have D1, D2 varsity girls. In fifth place from Corner Canyon, Victoria Vance. In third place from Riverton, Carol Crow. In third place, Salt Lake City Composite, Leah Westerman. In second place from Park City, Sienna Ledger Riddell. And in first place from Salt Lake City Composite, Rachel Anders.
right there. D1A freshman because of the fill site. 
is we go 13 deep for overall. In 13th place for Park City, National Baton. Independent, in 12th place, Amy Johnson. From Corner Canyon, in 11th place, Jake Zybar. In 10th, from Corner Canyon, Max Miller. 9th place, Alta, Sam Perry. 8th place, Corner Canyon, Chandler Lake. In 7th place, from Corner Canyon, Cameron. There's no last name. Cameron Richards. In sixth place from Corner Canyon, Joshua Griffin. In fifth place from Corner Canyon, Jake Hales. In fourth place from Alta, Adam Jolly. In third place from Long Peak, Hunter Ransom. In second place from Bingham, Raven Hutzman. And the overall series champion for D1A, freshman boys from Alta, Bryn Bingham.
Boys D1A sophomore. We go 13 deep due to the field size. In 13th place from Corner Canyon, Carson Horrocks. 11th place from Davis, Mark Cocker. 11th place, Corner Canyon, Jacob Goldberg. In 10th place, Corner Canyon, Preston Taylor. In 9th place, Corner Canyon, Mikey Bowler. In 8th place, from Lynn Peak, Ethan Lynch. In 7th place, from Lone Peak, Peter Barney. 6th place, from Lone Peak, Seth Barney. In 5th place, from Corner Canyon, Kyle Nelson. In 4th place, from Corner Canyon, Daxton Harriman. In 5th place, from Corner Canyon, Cole Schaefer. In 2nd place, from Corner Canyon, Matt Henderson. And your champion for D1A Sophomore Boys, Ryder Pace. D1B Sophomore Boys, 8th. We're on 18th, so 8th place from Westlake, Devin Jones. And 7th place from Reedman, Ty Nelson. 6th place, Ogden High, Max Egan. 5th place from Skyline, Andy Noble. 4th place from Snow Canyon, Josh Wild. 3rd place from Skyline, Graham Northwood. Second place from Weaver, Tristan Harris. And your overall champion for D1 Sophomore Boys from Snow Canyon, Gregory Ball. Boys D2A Sophomore Boys. On the left side, seventh place from Wasatch, Jack Hibble. Sixth place from Tippinogas, Richard Lopeson. Fifth place from Fremont, Brady Jensen. Fourth place from Uinta, Tanner Newman. Fifth place from Moab, Tyler Maroon. Second place from Wasatch, Kristen Hake. And your overall champion for boys D2A sophomore from Salt Lake City Composite, Keenan Peters. Boys D1A JV will be going 13th 
Bush for Davis High and Alex Foley. 12th place in Corner Canyon and Cameron Ball. 11th place in Wesley Grove, Jonathan Mott. 10th place for Long Peak, Caleb Goodmanson. 9th place for Pleasant Grove, Joshua Matheson. 8th place for Pleasant Grove, Malcolm Hatfield. 7th place for Long Peak, Tanner Bacon. 6th place for Long Peak, Brendan Vick. 5th place for Corner Canyon, Cameron Del Grosso. 4th place for Corner Canyon, Riley Brock. Tyler Doman. Second place from Corner Canyon, Seth Saxton. And in fourth place from Boys D1A, JV Champion, Skyler Patton from Park City. Boys D1B, JV on the right side. We'll be going 11 deep and in 11th place. From Lehigh, Tyler Robbins. Tenth place from Lehigh, Caden Foley. Ninth place from Weaver, Brennan Halliday. Eighth place from Weaver, Zachary Campbell. Seventh place from Lehigh, Braxton Franklin. Sixth place from Skyline, Dylan Willett. Fifth place from Lehigh, Austin Bird. Fourth place from Skyline, Dylan in third place from Skyline, Garrison Asper. Second place from Weaver, Cameron Ardenna. And your boys D1B, JV champion from Bountiful, Josh Peterson. Boys D2A, JV on the left side. In ninth place for Uinta, Brennan Deegan. Eighth place for Jordan, Brent Bonner. Seventh place for Bright, Michael Urban. Sixth place for Salt Lake City Composite, Ian Bird. Fifth place for Wasatch, Grant Hillier. Fourth place for Riverton, Samuel Mock. In second place, right is independent, Charlie McFarland. Boys D2A, JV champion from Riverton, Larson Williams. Boys D2B, JV on the right podium. In ninth place from Murray, Will Parnell. In eighth place from Provo Composite, Matias. In seventh place from Mountain View, Joe Gillings. In sixth place from Cypress Strong, Rigby, Idaho, Kobe Miller. In fifth place from Mountain View, Jacob Percy. In fourth place from Provo Composite, Mitchell McCord. In third place from Baltimore, James Mott. In second place from Pixie, Ethan Hurst. And your boys D2B JV champion from Dixie, Jackson Werner. Girls D1 D2 varsity on the left podium. In fifth place from Alta, Elise Schumann. In third place from Skyline, Annika Holloway. In third place from Salt Lake City Composite, Rachel Landers. In second place from Salt Lake City Composite, Leah Westerman. And your girls varsity champion from Park City, Sienna Ledger Riddell. In 8th place from Bountiful, Blair Perks. 
In seventh place in Park City, Danny Fendler. In sixth place in Skyline, Nick Loyola. In fifth place in Berryman, Travis Gillian. In fourth place in Castello, Ryan Scannon. In third place in Skyview, Brad Giver. In second place in Park City, Matthew Perez. And your boys D1, D2, varsity winner from Park City, Connor Patton.
third place, Park City. In second place, Lone Peak. Division one champions, Corner Canyon. So how do we get it under?